Bush. Number three, Homeland Security Gate. That $860 million contract for an electronic surveillance virtual fence for the Arizona-Mexico border awarded two months ago to Boeing by Homeland Security Secretary Chertoff. Maybe money thrown down a rat hole. Why? Doesn't work. $20 million prototype failed to get the border in agents real-time info. Boeing swears the $860 million taxpayer dollars it's getting for the whole project will result in something. Something that works. Number two, they stand up, we stand down. Gate once again, administration hype about how well the Iraqization of the Iraqi army is going. Turns out to be spin. That Mamoudia, south of Baghdad, a planned sweep for Al-Qaeda agents, reports American Lieutenant Colonel William Zemp. It had to start without the Iraqi platoon that was supposed to be in the lead because, says Zemp, the Iraqis overslept. The Iraqi army is very good at what they do, he says. They just have a problem with sleeping in. And number one, are you sure he's getting enough oxygen gate? Vice President Cheney is out there speaking again, telling the conservative Manhattan Institute on Monday that the Democrats did a bad thing. The House leadership has allowed a critical statute to expire. The FISA, or Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, the law that gives intelligence professionals the tools they need to monitor terrorist-related communications. We've got great news for you, Mr. Vice President. You're mistaken. FISA is alive and well, still sitting there, allowing you to get a court order and basically eavesdrop on anybody you want, or if it's a real emergency, allowing you to tap first and seek the warrant later, as much as 72 hours later. Obviously, you couldn't have made that slip deliberately just to scare people or try to make political capital at the Democrats' expense, right? I mean, you're much too accomplished a speaker, right? Among his other credits, Mo used to host a TV show called Things I Hate About You. I'm sure I've seen that program. Only I believe it's now called Countdown with Keith Overman. Hey, Dick, stick to the comedy. I believe you finally found your calling.